So number five then from paper two, the 2023 advanced tyre maths, what we've got five mark question four, binomial expansion. At least it's not the big long tedious one, you wouldn't want it to be with a new power eight anyway. It's that when the general term and find a particular coefficient. Write down and simplify the general term for three marks in the binomial expansion of this. Well, that would produce this sum of terms going from R is zero up to eight. You'd have the number of combinations, so that would be 8r of the first term, 3x, usually it starts with, no, starts with the 8 and works its way down, so 8 minus r. And then the second one, don't forget the negative, over x squared, and that's the one that will climb up with r. So that's the summation. So if you want the general term, I suppose you'd have to write something like ur, you know, for this part here. So we've got 8r, and presumably you can just leave it in that combination form. You don't have to put all the factorial business in. And then we'll have to pick out the coefficients first, because that's part of the coefficients. So there's a 3 in it. There's a 3 to the power 8 minus r. There's a negative 2 to the power r. And then there's all the x's. There's an x to the power 8 minus r. Get multiplied by, that's a negative 2. So that'll be minus 2 lots of r. So tidying up, that's an r there of course so tidying that up well not a lot you can tidy up it'll just be the power of x because i don't know what that is and i can't even do it with that negative i don't want to put an extra wee statement for negatives but that with that times x to the 8 minus 3 r of course with this the very first term would have to be u0 because r starts at zero And so in part B, for two marks, hence or otherwise, determine the coefficient of the term in x to negative 1. What would otherwise be? Just write it all out. I don't know. But anyway, if that was meant to be a power negative 1, then 8 minus 3r would have to equal negative 1. So 3 would equal 9. So r is going to be 3. So this coefficient that you're looking for, this coefficient is going to be, so I don't want the x part, I just want the numerical part. It'll be 8, 3. It'll be 3 to the power, I'll just put it straight in, so it'll be 8 minus 3, that's 5. And it'll be negative 2 to the power 3. Now luckily it's paper 2, so you can just press all that into your calculator. So putting that in, I couldn't find a combinations button for this, seems odd. Pressing the button, you get negative 108864 for the coefficient. So to number six, four marks for use the Euclidean algorithm in part A for one mark to find the greatest common divisor of these two numbers. One mark. Right, well, 703, that doesn't go in. Well, it does go in, doesn't go in exactly, I mean. So it'll be one of them and 400, 304 left over. And that doesn't go in. 399. Obviously, it'll just be one lot of 304. So it'll be 95 left over. Well, 5 and 4, that won't go in either. So 304, that'll be a certain number of 95. Well, that's almost 100, so there can only be three of them. So that's 15 short plus another. That makes 19. Ooh, 95. Will 19 go into 95? It's almost 100. It's almost 20. Five of them. It is five exactly, so plus zero. So there you are for the first part. D equals 19. It was just one mark though. Then part B for two marks, find integers A and B that would solve this equation, this diaphantine equation. Well, D is that 19. Well, how can you make up that 19? You can just start from here and work your way back. So using the 19 row. 19 is the same as 304 take away three lots of 95. Right, now the 95, I think I'll just identify that as a single lot of that. 
minus 3 lots of now the 95, that's 399 minus 1 lot of 304, just using the wee dot instead of a cross because it looks even messier. Tidy that up because I've got some 304s here, that's plus another 3, so there's 4 lots of 304 minus 3 lots of 399. We can go to the 304. That's, that'll be it finished. 703 minus 1 lot of 399 minus the 3 lots of, oops, 399 I've got so far. So finally, oh, I'll just put it down now. 4 times 703 minus 4 minus 3 minus 7 times 399. Hopefully. But you can check if this is all correct just by seeing if that actually works. You press the button 19, that was it. So I think we meant to finish up by saying what A and B were, which means that A is 4 and B is negative 7. Now the last part for one mark says, hence find integers P and Q such that 76 equals this. So I'm looking for 76. Well 76 is 4 times that. So 4 times that would be 4 times this. I'll just put it down. So specifically, because you can only multiply one of them, That'll be 703 multiplied by 16 and 399 multiplied by negative 28. So here then that means that the P must be 16. Is that the right way around? P for the 703. And the Q must be negative 28.